Hi, and welcome to the second video of this Getting Started with Pyara series. My name is Cuba Stanley, I work as an apprentice software engineer here at Pyara, and in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process of downloading and installing the software that we need for this series. If you haven't seen the introductory parts of this series yet, I recommend you go back and watch that first, as it will be giving you a brief overview of what we're going to be doing in this series. So there's four main pieces of software that we're going to need for this series. Java, which is the main development platform for Pyara and the series. Maven, a build tool which will make the process of building our software much more straightforward. An IDE, for this series I'm going to be using NetBeans. There are a lot of different IDEs out there, but NetBeans just has some certain integration tools with Pyara that will make deployment and control over the software much more straightforward. And finally, Pyara Server. So with that said, let's get into installing the software. So first, let's start by installing Java, as this is the main tool that we're going to need for all of the software we're using. For this series, I'll be using the Zulu JDK 8 version, but feel free to use JDK 11 to follow along if you wish. Firstly, we'll open up the browser and head over to the Azure website. On the downloads page, select your operating system. For this series, I'll be using OS X, but the process is much the same for Windows. Head down to the JDK 8 section and download the installer. Once the download is complete, run the installer, and that's it, Java's installed. We can verify that everything has worked as desired by opening a command line and typing in java-version. You should see something like this. Next, we'll install Maven. To do this, head over to the Maven website in your browser. Head to the downloads page and download the binary distribution archive for your operating system. This will be the zip for Windows and Mac, or the tar.gz for Linux. Once downloaded, we'll be ready to install. To do this, first we need to make sure to add our Java home environment variable to point to our Java install, like so. On Windows, you can do this through the system settings and edit the system and environment variables through this window. Once that's done, extract the binary download to a directory of your choosing. And then add the bin directory from this new created folder to your path environment variable. And that's Maven installed. We can verify that this is completed correctly in a similar way to Java by typing maven-v on the command line as shown in here. Okay, now we've got Java and Maven installed, let's install our IDE. There are plenty of different IDEs to choose from, including Eclipse and IntelliJ, for example. But for the purposes of this series, I've decided to go with NetBeans, as the integration between NetBeans, Maven, and Pyara will make creating our Hello World application much more straightforward. To install NetBeans, we'll head over to the NetBeans website in our browser, then click through the download buttons to get to the final downloads page, where you can pick the installer for your relative operating system. Once downloaded, open the installer and go through the steps that it provides you, and that's NetBeans installed. Finally, we're going to be downloading the star of the show, Pyara Server. To do this, we'll head over to the pyara.fish website, once the page is loaded, we'll head over to the download and scroll down to Pyara Platform Community Edition, which is the freely available version of Pyara Server. We'll then go to Pyara Server 5.2020.4 full and click download. Once the download is completed, all we have to do is extract the downloaded zip file to a location of our choice. I'm just going to extract it in the downloads. And there we go, Pyara server is installed. 
So that about covers it for installing the software we need for this series. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be learning how to start and shut down our Pyora server instance using the command line interface and NetBeans. See you then.